I could yeah. vouch for Lycos as a very good player. So he got seeded pretty high. Buzzo got seeded pretty low. And they had to fight round one. Oof. And what, back then, Buzzo was still playing Pac-Man. Pac-Man, yeah, I remember. Wasn't that 2-1 as well? Yeah. See, uh, even with Pac-Man. So, you know, Buzzo can tie up the set count here, or Lycos can prove that he, he deserved that win and bring it up 2-0. But we got Fox Diddy Kong. You know, I feel like this is a, this is a pretty vanilla matchup, actually, you know? I'd have to agree. Uh, Fox isn't the most common character at a top level, but he, he's he got his reps. He got Larry Lur, X-Ax. Mega Fox. Mega Fox. A lesser Void has a Fox, but Void I don't know. I, I like his Sheik way better. <laughs> Car has got a little something to say about that. <laughs> and, you know. You got you got a bunch of high level ditties. You have oh, yeah. the toppest level ditty, obviously, JJ Rockets. Yes, <laughs> master <laughs> SDs himself. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah. But you got you know you got Zero. You got JJ. You got uh, uh, Zenodo. Zenodo. MVD. Dire. Niantono. So we're getting into game one on FD here. Lyco starting off with his trademark triple lasers to start it. He's actually got a lot of. Diddy experience from up at school. One of the very good players in the area is a Diddy Kong main with a Sheik secondary. He used to be a Sheik main, and then he switched to Diddy Kong because he discovered that Banana makes things really easy at a mid level. And he likes to kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's not a matchup that Lycos is totally unfamiliar with, but there's always the, the age old trap of thinking you know the matchup. But when you try to play it, it turns out you don't actually know the matchup. You just learned how exactly. to play against that one player. I think um, Verminubis made a blog post about that recently. But for now, oh, the banana drops. Oh, catches that B reverse. Pretty slick. Lycos is going to start fishing for drill up smash pretty soon. Ooh. So I'd be onto the stage. Whiffs, it, whiffs that up smash. Buzzo likes to uh, throw people off the stage for positioning whenever they're at a relatively high percent instead of going for... Oh, no. Oh. SD. That always, that always hurts to see. Though, gotta be honest, I am definitely not the biggest Diddy fan in the world. <laughs> Lycos honestly kind of seems to be playing it like a lot of other matchups. He gets a hit, and then he just doesn't let them out of the Vortex. Mm -hmm. But that, that's just Fox for you, you know? Yeah. The thing you gotta know how to do with Fox is how to get that hit, and Fox's disadvantage is not the prettiest. So he wants to stay out of that as much as possible. Something that's... Oh. Something that's nice about uh, Diddy as opposed to... Ooh, Ooh. Up smash is going to... All right. A stock. pretty quick two-stock coming out from Lyco's game one. It was, it was really even until it wasn't. Yeah. But I feel like Diddy doesn't necessarily have, you know, like the long flowy strings that other characters like, you know, Sheik or Cloud have. He just relies on winning the neutral over and over again. Hmm. And I think a lot of times what we saw there was he'd throw them off stage, but he'd still maintain center stage. He wouldn't try to trap them along the leg. Yeah. Flesh Trapping with Diddy is such an immensely powerful tool mm -hmm. that if you're not using it, you're basically uh, not using half of your character there. Oh, trip. But no check chase. That's actually something that uh, I've noticed Lycos is very good at tech chasing. Like right there. I'm not sure how much of it is reads and how much of it is reactions, but he's he's got it pretty solidly. Ooh, actually, rabbit jab coming out from Diddy. Something you don't see too often. Oh, tries to pull the banana from center stage, but Fox is just too fast. He was trying to read a side B in. And you know, it's not that risky of an option for the Diddy as far as percents go, because if the Fox side B's in, then you hit him. If the Fox doesn't side B, then they can't get there fast enough. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, Ooh, tries for that forward smack. One of the reasons uh, side B is so powerful for Fox 
Ooh. Just ignores the banana peel. <laughs> One of the reasons side B is so powerful for Fox is that uh, if people prepare for it, then they give you the ledge for free. Mm -hmm. They go back to center stage and you get to the ledge for free. And if they don't prepare for it, then you get back to center stage for free. It's not about the, the individual options actually being unbeatable. It's about the the positioning that it puts you in, really. Like, I just tried to go for the fair footstool this game like two or three times. I yeah, he's not finding it, though. But it's one of those things where if Diddy doesn't have his double jump and you, uh, you, you don't even need the footstool, just a fair drag down, he just, he just dies. All right. There it is. There it is. A strong 2-0 statement coming out from Lycos. Mm -hmm.